They'll be saying, oh, Lord, here they come. Yeah, here we come. Huh, here we come. <laughs> here we come. Here we come. Yo, guys, what is up? It's your boy Sasquatch, and we are back with some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than most videos. As you all have probably seen, if you're in the Ark Discord, or maybe you have them on YouTube, they did a latest developer update video. Well, I wanted to kind of go over the developer update video with you guys and kind of talk about it again in case some of y'all missed it. And by the way, y'all like my molten graft? It's like my favorite graft out of every single graft there is. I love it. It's better than any of them. But anyway, in today's video, we will be talking about the new archetype they have coming out, the new Ingram, Primal Pass Incentives, PVX Game Mode, the new PVX Game Mode they're coming out with, new creature, the new creature, which is the Equus, um, server transfers, and also new TLCs that they plan to come out with. So first of all, as you can see, guys, I don't have any more tames. This is my private server. I didn't get on so long that I pretty much lost all my tames. But it's not a big issue. First of all, we're going to be talking about the Aerial Symbiote, which I will go ahead and put an overlay of what it looks like here, a little video clip from Ark's video they put up. And as you can see, it's a Mega Neura that basically fuses to your body, and it helps you flutter to the ground and glide to the ground so you don't take any kind of fall damage. And that's going to be a new archetype you can purchase. I don't know if you're going to have to tame a Megan. Well, you can't really tame Mega Neuras. I don't know. You're probably going to end up having to you know, kill a Mega Neura to basically get the wings, I'm assuming. I'm not 100% sure. That would just be my thought, though. And then that's all pretty much for the aerial symbiote. The next thing, as you can see on the screen, will be a cantilever platform, which is kind of like the, um, the treehouse platform or whatever you want to call it. But this one allows you to build on the side of a cliff. So I'm kind of curious if you will be able to build like inside volcano on the side of a cliff. Because I'm kind of looking right now on the volcano. And I'm kind of curious if you'll be able to build. But that will be a new archetype you can purchase as well. So hopefully it's not too expensive for these new archetypes. Because I definitely want to buy them. Hopefully they're only a few bucks and they're affordable for everyone to purchase. But I'm super hyped for the cantilever platform and the aerial symbiote that's probably one of my two favorite things that is going to be coming um to mobile next is the new engram the geopolymer foundation now this foundation is going to allow us to increase the height limit higher than any other foundation in the game so you would build the foundation put it on the ground and it's going to allow you to build i have no idea how much higher um from a video clip it looks like quite a few stacks higher than the rest of them which is pretty exciting, so we can build some pretty extravagant mansions. And the Geo Geopolymer Foundation is going to be able to be crafted with cement, which, as he mentions in their video, they're not going to bring up until a later time, which cement is in Arc PC and Arc Console, I believe. So it's cool that it's going to be coming to mobile. So after we have the, G or the Geopolymer Foundation, we now have Primal Pass Benefits. And as you know, Primal Path already has a few benefits already, has like two times experience and um, no ads and such like that. But now they're going to be adding 10%. Well, it's already added. You got 10% more amber when you purchase amber. So like I purchased 1,100 amber the other day, which would have normally been 1,000 amber, but I got to have a lot more because of Primal Pass. And you get 50% more tame slots. So that would be 20 more slots in solo and six more tame slots on online servers. Also, you get one extra amber while watching ads, um, exclusive store purchases, such as, oh, let's go look real quick. I got to turn this back on. Um, exclusive store purchases, um, the accessories, you got the devil horns, the angel costume, um, which, is a which is the Halloween skins. And then you also have access to the, oh gosh, where was it at? Um, like the gold crown, wherever the gold crown is at. Is the gold crown in accessories? Yeah, already owned. So that you get access to that. So as a primal pass holder, you get a lot more incentives to have it. And I think it's awesome because it's only like $3.99 a month, guys, or $39.99 for a whole year. So it would be cheaper to have it for the whole year. But it's definitely worth it. It's like the best purchase I've ever made on the game. 
as you can see at the very top, my name is gold, and I have the Primal Pass emblem next to my name. Ooh, I forgot Carnivore Pheromones were on sale, and Pheromone, or Herbivore Pheromones. So might have to buy some of those in my other server. So I'm super, super hyped that they're adding all these incentives for Primal Pass or Primal Pass holders. It's really awesome to me. It shows that they they care about, you know, we're paying money to them. And so they're going to make it basically really beneficial to have Primal Pass. Now, the next one, which I'm really excited about, is the new PV, the new PVX mode. So they are kind of calling it PVX Clock. And I'll put the map up here for you right now. It's a PVP zone that rotates around the map. It's a 30-degree sliver that rotates 15 degrees every hour. So every hour, it'll be at the same point on the map the same time every day. So if you kind of want to be able to be on when that PVP zone gets to you and be able to defend your base, that's going to be the best way to do it. It's kind of like, you know, like my private PVPs or my PVP server, I or my PVX server, I had no offline rating. So it's kind of like that, but it's going to ensure that you can't be offline rated and the whole map is going to be affected by the PVP zone once per day for an hour a day. So I'm super, super hyped for that. I think that's going to go over very well. I will probably change my PVX server over to the PVX clock whenever it comes out. So look forward to that. Um, next thing is a new creature they're adding, which is the Equus. Good old horsey looking creature. Um, I'm super, super excited for the Equus. A lot of people really, really like the Equus. And I think it's going to be a good land mount to have. Now, it is going to have a special taming method. But it's not going to be as hard as the Griffin and you will be able to breed the Equus for racing stats and earn classes. Now, the Equus has six different classes, some of those which are Swift, Maiden, and Racing. And you can look in the info for the Tame to see which class you have, and as Jordan mentioned, to be able to show off to your friends so they can see what class you have. So that's going to be an amazing thing to be able to have those, breed them, do races. I'm going to make like a big track and do like horse races. That should be pretty, pretty cool. So look forward to the Equus coming out, guys. Next up is the server transfer ticket. Now, they have been doing a little test on that. They put a code up on Twitter, and you got the code, and you got a server transfer ticket for people to test. Now, you will be able to transfer to other servers, um, which you will be able to purchase this, the ticket from the store with Amber, and you can use it whenever you're ready to transfer to another server. And what will transfer is your name, your levels you've unlocked, your engrams, your pursuit progress. You can bring your blueprints, creature implants, artifacts, trophies, and a whole bunch of store items such as like soothing balm, pheromones, cuddle bears, collars, all of that stuff. And he mentioned some of it needs to be inside your inventory. So make sure you read on it before you go ahead and transfer and lose a lot of your stuff. Um, you'll be able to bring your Ancient Amber Balance, which is nice, a revival platform, because you will need that to revive your tames. Um, and then the cost of the cheaper uh, ticket is a little bit cheaper than they had originally intended because they realize you're going to have to revive your tames. So they made the ticket a little bit cheaper. I have no idea what it's going to be yet. I guess we will see whenever that comes out. And another thing is your tames need to be personally owned. If they are not personally owned, whenever you transfer, they will become a wild dino again. So please make sure that they are personally owned. And the next thing is you have to, tra you have to transfer within the same server difficulty level. So if you're on PvE easy, you have to transfer to another easy server. And if you're in PvE, you have to transfer to a PvE server. And so if it's easy, hard brutal whatever it is you have to transfer to the same pve server but if you are in pvx or pvp you can transfer to any other server type that you would like which i think is pretty cool they did that because you're already in pvp pvx has both you know so that's pretty cool and then transfer to any other server type um you have the 24 hour cooldown and you can only which means you can only transfer once a day so that will stop people from transferring to multiple servers, causing havoc or whatever, and transferring to the next server before they can get killed or raided back by someone. And some of the last thing we're going to talk about is the mobile exclusive TLC. So which, if you don't know what a TLC is, that's like when they did the RG update and made it able to have the crafting uh, bench inside its inventory. And they also changed the way it looks and the way it sounds. So that is a TLC. So they want to do some such as... Um, Jordan's excited about the dodos. The dodos, you will be able to breed for size, and he said maybe even able to ride them. 
like that'd be amazing if you could ride dodos and some of the dodos will have special abilities i'm guessing probably after you breed them several times they'll end up having a special ability i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i'm definitely excited to find out so we're definitely going to see a lot more dodo armies going around and a lot bigger dodos apparently um and then they had a little bit of um i'll try to put it up here they had the shadows of the creatures that they, it looks like they're going to be updating in TLCs. So if I can, I'll put them up on screen so you can see. Maybe you can guess what creatures they are. And the last couple things we're going to be talking about besides TLC is the Tribe Ascension has been put on the back burner. So no more Tribe Ascension for now, at least. They're working on basically bigger things that everyone wants, such as everyone wants more tame slots. So they, they what they mentioned is they can't really do tame slots or too many more tame slots without it bricking your phone or melting your phone down. Phone just cannot handle it. So they said they have a special way to basically get around that, a more creative way to get around tame slots and have you access more tames. So they said that hopefully will be coming very soon. They have it in the works right now to see if they can figure it out. But that is pretty much all that he talked about in the video, guys. If I miss anything, please let me know. Um, I just dropped my phone, <laughs> but yeah, please let me know if there's anything else I missed. If there's anything else you would like to talk about, leave it down in the comments below. Um, I'm super, super hyped for the future of Ark Mobile. I never thought it would get this far. I thought the game would flop when it first came out, but here I am, an Ark partner, you know, making videos about Ark, doing hella good on views. I appreciate it, guys. You all are amazing. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoy the content, smash the like button. Share these videos with your friends. Come pet my cute little otter on my private server if you become a Patreon. Besides that, guys, make sure you take it one day at a time. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Peace out.